That's right, Charlie. Hey, dude, so sick. All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in a small mini ramp or medium sized mini ramp, whatever you have available. We're gonna start with pumping back and forth and I want you to find your rhythm of your pumping, staying nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Notice in my feet, heels and toes matching. Lifting up and into my pump. Then I'm gonna start with a little bit of a tail stall. And for your tail stalls, remember, you're gonna lean forward and tap back. Once you get comfortable with this, you can pump up a little bit more, tap it on the coping. You should have this, this should be a prerequisite for learning your nose stalls. So next we're gonna start working on your nose stall. To do this, you're gonna switch your feet. So look at how I'm standing on my board. As you start your nose stalls, you're gonna shift. So look, I'm gonna shift my back foot in first and then my front foot up on the nose. As you get more comfortable with this, you can do it in one movement. You can hop in into it. I want you to pay attention to where my front foot goes. I pull my back foot in first, just in past my, my back two bolts, and then my front foot, I stay on the balls of my feet so I have more reaction from when I press on the, on the nose. Now we're gonna go back to our pumping in the middle ramp and start with some little light taps again and then shift and no stall, tail stall, no stall. Now, we're gonna get a close up for you. So notice, when I push on the nose, my goal is to tap my nose on the concrete. Push your nose into the, into the ramp, okay? You're not trying to stand up on the nose. If you do that, you'll slide out and smash your hip. So notice how my body angle is as I'm pumping. When I tail stall, I stay leaning in the ramp. When I nose stall, I stay leaning back. Lean forward, leaning back. It's super important that you keep your head in towards the bottom of the ramp, okay? So when that becomes easy and comfortable for you, you're gonna start to work your way up. And I want you to challenge yourself to try to tap your nose as high as you can on the ramp with consistency, building trust in your trick. It feels the most comfortable once you finally get your nose over the coping. This will allow your board to level out and it also pauses for a quick second so that you can, you can feel yourself stall and then go in with your pump with gravity. So remember, when you push forward, you're gonna start and push just as your nose passes the coping. If you do it too early, your nose is gonna stab into the bottom of the coping and stop your board and you're gonna fall. But you can see the angle of my lean as I stab my front foot into the coping and I keep my head closer to my back foot over my back truck. Another prerequisite for this is gonna be no stalls on curbs, okay? Which most of you can already do. The reason why we're doing this is to teach you the wind up of the shoulders to begin that revert into the transition. So I'm gonna push off into riding position, wiggle my front foot up onto the nose, get into my nose stall, and then I'm gonna show you what I do with my upper body. So look, into my nose stall. Now as I'm in my nose stall, my head is over my front foot, okay? Then I'm gonna wind up my upper body, swing my upper body into a little bit of a hop. And as I hop, I kind of transfer my weight to my back foot. I'm gonna use my upper body like I'm winding up a baseball bat, swing that baseball bat. Swing those shoulders into a light hop. I'm creating momentum with my upper body, swinging my upper body. And then as I get more comfortable with it, I can transfer from my front foot to my back foot. So as I come off that curb, I'll transfer to my back wheels to allow the full 180 off of the curb. And to complete my rotation, once I hop off, I bend down. And I want you to bend down, same in the transition, so build a good habit here so you can land into your pump. What's up, Charlie? How's it going? Hey, you're gonna do some no stall reverts with me today. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna challenge you to learn no stall backside revert out, right? Okay. Yeah, let me see. No stall, front side revert out. Good, dude. Say, let me see. No stall, back side revert out.
All right, cool, let's try this in mini ramp. The goal for this is to really feel yourself pump up into your stall. Don't lean the head over the stall foot, lean the head over the opposite foot. Okay. So just like a drop in, you wanna lean in towards the bottom. So you keep your head back and you're just pushing your feet into the ramp. That's right. A little scary, come on, keep doing it. There you go. Remember to stay back and stab that foot in. Just stab that foot in, good. Try to get the top of your, ah! Did you feel your weight shift? Yeah. Like try to shift your front foot? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the whole thing with this. Say, same thing for you, dude. I want you guys to really try to get your board to stab so that your, your front foot is straight. That way you're leaning back over your back foot and you straighten your leg and stab your front foot into the coping. So look at how my leg is straight and my foot is rolled onto the top, okay? That way my head is in over my back foot already to just drop back in immediately. All right, say, let me see some nose stalls on the coping. You could do it, dude. Hey, that was perfect, dude. There you go. So now we're gonna work to build some confidence. Here's the next little drill for you guys to try. We're gonna do these under the coping, and it's kind of like a, a nollie kick turn hop slide kind of thing. So look. So look, I push slow, and then kind of hop. Push slow, get 90 degrees, and I hop. It's almost like you're doing a nollie half cab, but not without popping. Exactly. All right. Just nice and relaxed. Just push really gentle on the nose and a little hop. That's better. That's right. That was good, dude. Good, that's right. That's it, that was perfect. Time to shine, dude. I wanna see that nose stall. Remember, stall it out, use that upper body, wind up those shoulders, swing those shoulders, and as you swing those shoulders, you wanna give a tiny little hop and tuck down into your pump, into your 180 in, okay? Hey, that's it. Dude, fantastic. Hey, you really wind up and revert into that pump. It makes it look so good, dude. That's right. Hey, good job, dude. Thanks. Yeah. Fantastic. Next challenge, now we're gonna go backside revert out. Have you guys done this before? No. Not successfully. Not until today. Today's the day, let's do it. Here's the next little drill for you guys to try. So look at my feet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little hop. So look, I lift my body weight up into a pump, and then I hop a little bit and swing my shoulders into that, into that backside revert. Try to give a little more hop and swing those shoulders harder. Good, that was perfect. Try it, let me see, try it. Do you wanna stall this out and then hop into your pump? That's it, that's it. Good, slow it down a little more. More no stall and then hop it. That's it, that was perfect. Good, that's it. So hey, that motion right there is exactly the trick. Now you just do it on the coping. That feels sick. Hey, good job, man. <laughs> Try to stab into that coping. Good, that's it. Good, that's it. Exaggerate that tuck into your pump. Oh! So I already know uh, one of the little pro tips for this is gonna be as I get into my nose stall for backside revert out, I spin my chest so that when I no stall, my chest is already parallel with the coping. My arms and my chest is already parallel with the coping. That way I'm using just more, more of my torso. So like I'll be here and then I kind of I kind of slide back. So see how I can keep my shoulders with the coping and still do my revert? See look. So here's my no stall. Here's my revert slide in. The next pro tip for this, after the shoulders is gonna be the back foot. The back foot, I let my back foot get up on the toes. That helps my board make a full rotation back into my pump.
So let me see your nose stall right now and try to keep your shoulders parallel with the coping, okay? So you can even keep your arms out as you do your nose stall and then back in. Yeah, that's it. And then back in. Good. Yeah. That's it right there. As you wind up and that and your shoulders are parallel with the coping, you're going to use that momentum to swing and then start your revert, okay? So remember to tuck down into your revert in. It's okay if you have to go to a knee slide, go for it, all right? Hey, so proud of you, dude. You're doing fantastic. Ah, that's it, dude. Hey, you're right there, man. You're right there. Come on, say for the money. Ah, good, dude. That's right, Charlie. Hey, dude, so sick. That felt great, that felt great. Dude, I'm proud of you, man. It's easier to pump out for me on the hard way. Really? Yeah. yeah how, how funny is that, right? It's because I don't want to be up there. I just want to get back yep. in as fast so as possible. So you keep your body weight in the ramp. And that's what I was talking about. I was trying to explain that the whole time. Hey, man. Thank you, dude. Thanks, dude. Hey. Yup. Once you get comfortable with your nose stall reverts, I want you to try to do them tail stall. Tail stall backside revert, tail stall frontside revert, and then you can even try crook revert, just like this. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy learning these with us. Thanks for watching. And remember, click the like button, subscribe, and uh, leave me comments about what other tricks you'd like to learn. Thank you.